Yeah, quick tip for you guys. If you go into a spot to paint, you're going to do a piece um, and you need roll paint, right? For the background. A lot of people have extra cans of paint laying around in the house. Obviously, you can do that. It won't cost you a dime. But if you don't have paint laying around the house and you need roll paint, you can head over to Home Depot, Lowe's, and what you can do is purchase Oops Paint. Now, what Oops Paint is, uh, people go to the store, they go to Home Depot, they go to Lowe's, they buy paint, right? They buy like a $40, $50 can, gallon of paint, and they think it's going to look gorgeous. And then the wife's like, yeah, I don't like it, you know, I don't like the shade, it's off. Uh, I want something different. And it gets reshelved, right? But it's already been made. So they have to put it on a shelf with other paint, and they call it oops paint. Now this can that originally cost 30 or $40, price gets slashed. 10 5 I've seen cans for as cheap as $1.99. So I head over to Home Depot or Lowe's and ask for oops paint, and then you could look at the top of the can and check the color you know you might even get lucky one time i found a can of black that's rare but possible so quick tip let's go all right guys the walls rolled ready to start our first sketch outlines we're gonna be using a different paint today. I've never used this before. Flame glue, low pressure. So this is like a review slash challenge video because I don't know nothing about this paint. And we're gonna be using these super thin flame caps. So right now, I'm not actually using the flame blue paint yet. I'm actually using uh, Montana black uh, gray. I think it's shark. Um, but I am using the super thin flame cap. And I gotta tell you, this is the nicest cap that I've ever used to make an outline. As far as outline caps go, that this is probably going to be my go-to cap from now on. Uh, it's smooth, nice valve control. It's it's really nice. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into the flame paint soon. Unfortunately, I had to remove the audio because it was really choppy and distorted. I don't know if I disconnected the mic accidentally. But basically right now I'm talking about the caps. And normally I use banana caps for my outlines, the universal caps. But these caps are really, really good. And that's basically what I'm saying right now, how ridiculous the caps are. Um, super thin lines, really easy to control. And now we're going to get into the flame paint. Uh, flame blue, low pressure. That's about it. Let's see what it does. Let's go. Let's 
So right now we're doing the fill. Um, I'm using Lagoon Blue and Riviera. And uh, if you're curious about the cap, I'm actually using the stock cap, which is a, a white cap with a blue dot. It's a fat cap. And um, I went with the darker color, the Lagoon Blue, on the B and the Z, and I used the lighter color, the Riviera, on the O and the T. Now, normally when I do two color fades, I would, you you know, go up and down. I would use uh, maybe the lighter color on the top and the darker color on the bottom, depending on the 3D. But in this piece, my vanishing point is actually in the O, and the 3D is going into the piece. So I decided to uh, incorporate that with the fill, and I decided to fade the colors going into the middle of the piece. Now that I'm looking at it, I probably should have did the lighter colors on the outside and the dark colors on the inside, but you know, uh, Bob Ross says, uh, is, uh, no mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it still came together really nice. Yeah, I tried something different, you know, a little out of my comfort zone, and I like the result. So, yeah, So now we're trying the um, one of the 3D colors. Uh, I think it's Tele Magenta. And like most cans, you get that silly string. I mean, all cans that have been sitting, if, if you don't shake them, shake them up the right way, you're gonna get that silly string. You know, it's normal. So we're doing the 3D and. 3D consisted of the two colors that I used, which was the, like I said, the Tele Magenta and Erica Violet, which are two shades of pink. And really nice. These, I, I got nothing bad to say about the flame paint so far. You know, uh, it's the only piece I've done with them, but I had a really good time doing it. And the paint just, the valve control, um, it was just so smooth and controllable. I, I really enjoyed this paint. I'm definitely going to be using it again. So now we're working on the force field or the key line. <laughs> we say force field. We're working on the force field and I wanted to do like almost like hot lava. You know, that's how I drew it out in the sketch. And you know, I've seen a lot of videos and one of the artists that I love to watch is uh, Smo Nova. Throw his description in there. Definitely follow him, check him out on YouTube and Instagram. And I noticed that he actually puts highlights in his outlines. And watching him do that, I was able to, to mimic that and turn it into this effect to make it almost look like like there was like like lava, you know, or, or, or almost like a flame or, or a fire effect. And Again, this is my first time trying this. There's a lot of new things in this piece, a lot of first time things I've done in this piece, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. And you know, with, uh, with everything, practice makes perfect, so. All right, so we're nearing the end of the piece and we're up to the outline. 
for the outline we used burgundy and I didn't mention it before but the the force field the lava I used three colors for that I used a uh, cadmium yellow orange and light orange uh, the paint is fantastic I, I, I've said it multiple times already in the video uh, it was really enjoyable to use this paint it was really really nice and I'm definitely gonna be buying some more so if you're looking for a low pressure very controllable paint then flame blue is definitely the way to go and yeah Alright y'all, wall's done, I'm going to show it to you in a minute, first we're going to go check on the, on the homies and see how they doing, Let's say peace out, because we're about to bounce, but uh, yeah, some of the homies were here rocking today, look at Phil, You guys want to cover up? <laughs> you okay to be on camera? Yes, okay. No, no cameras, no cameras. All right. Homies are rocking. Mr. Caps. Life. Nice. That is W. It's crazy. Hi, right, fellas. I'm not gonna film you. Later, bro. Pieces. Thanks for letting me rock, bro. Anytime, Anytime bro. Anytime. You Anytime. know that. All right, fellas. You always bring it. Nice and quiet here. Appreciate it. Bro. I'll be back. Yeah, man. You know, some people can't be on camera. You never know who's watching. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hope you like it. If you do, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. This is it. All day, every day. Rest in peace. DL. Special shout out to the homie Cool Drip. What's up, Drip? It's your boy Bots. The only two things that matter in my life are right there. Wow.